no, no, if, if this one is back before, stand down. We don't come up again. Ladies and gentlemen, look around you and give her a round of applause because she's going to be the winner. Thank you. You know what fine stands for? Feelings inside, not experienced. Or depending what you did last night. Messed up, insecure, neurotic and exasperated. Um, just some of my background. You've heard of these motivational people that say, yes, 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 yes. But you know what? It's like shaving. I didn't shave this morning especially for you because motivation is like shaving. You have to do it every single day. And I don't want to be like that. This is serious protection here, eh? Third chakra protection eh? Like, shoot, I'll stay away, don't worry. The real important message that I want to bring to you is that all of success starts with the right mindset. People spend tons and tons of time and money, books, videos, audios, workshops, and they go home and it sits on their shelf. But the core component of my process is about creating a blend between your mindset and your heart set that allows you to achieve real success by taking smart action. Strategic, measurable, meaningful, achievable, aligned with your values. Based on powerful, uplifting relationships and a transformational approach rather than a transactional approach. Most people don't succeed. 95% of people don't succeed. They don't achieve their physical, their emotional, their wealth, their health, any of their dreams. They're on the struggle, the strive and strive trying to arrive. But by, by the time they're 65, the numbers show that they haven't been successful. And then for the rest of their 20, 30, 40 years of life, what are they going to do? Come on, guys. Did you wake up this morning and say, good morning, God, or good God, it's morning? You see, I love the flying, but I fell 50 meters, and I spent three months in bed, and I drove four and a half hours <coughs> to the Drakensberg in a car with no suspension, with that body, with my ribs off. I growled all of the way so that I could hold my body nice and tight. So here's my question for you. What wording would you put in there, other than ouch? What wording would you say in there? Somebody say <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Impressive. No pain. No pain, no gain. Differently next time. You see, depending upon what kind of wording you put in there, it will tell me what kind of resilience programs you are running. And I want you to make that decision today. I can't stop you. Who's seen The Fight Club? The movie The Fight Club? Didn't you love that part? And this is what I want to do for you today. Brad Pitt. Oh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Hello, my doll. Brad Pitt goes to this guy. He goes into the shop. There's this guy in the shop. A shopkeeper. A Taiwanese or Chinese guy. And he pulls him out of the shop in the back and he's got a gun to his head. And he cocks the gun. And he says, what are you doing? What's happening? I'm going to kill you. And this guy's like, please don't. And he pulls his wallet out. And he grabs his card and he reads the card and he says, student card. And he says, what do you want to be when you grow up? And it's like, the guy's going to die. He's holding this gun to his head. He says, what do you want to be? And he said, I wanted to be a vet. He says, what? He said, I wanted to be a vet. <laughs> and then Brad said to him, if you're not on your way to being a vet in six weeks, I'm going to come and shoot you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <sighs> <laughs> Yes! <sighs> yeah, we can't believe these oaks. We're standing on top of the mountain at 645 meters above the ground. And there's next nothing down the bottom there. And they say, go, go, go. And I'm standing behind this thing. And they say, go, go. But where am I running to? There's nothing. I mean, I'm literally running towards the edge of nothing. I'm often asked, what's the most important thing in being successful? And after all of my research, all of my reading, my experiences, my testing and designing, I've come to understand that it comes down to one thing. That is mindset and heart set. 
the balance and the blend of those two things, if you get them aligned and focused on your soul's core values and core needs, it takes you beyond, beyond your means goal to your ends goal, the goals that you really want, that make your soul sing, that fill your heart with peace and, and passion and joy, then you'll become unstoppable. But until then, you need to start to build a spark. And I am that spark. How many squares? Lies! Thank you, 17. How many squares? 21. How many squares? No. That's the problem with life, is we live in pleasure, we live in paradise, and you don't want to see the truth of the game. How many squares? 16. Oh, lies. That's your problem. You are so, you are so structured in your belief systems, you make rules that don't exist in the world. How many squares? 17, 21, 21. How do these In the workshops and the talks, I am that spark that starts the possibility to turn it into a flame. And together we will work to nurture that flame into a fire which you can then build into a furnace of success and happiness and achievement. But I know this, if you don't start with the spark and the right mindset and the right heart set, you will struggle for the rest of your life. And that's what I bring as a speaker, as a facilitator, I bring to the party is that spark to start your fire and flame and that furnace of success and happiness and peace and joy. Choose me the next time you want to have a transformational experience and not just a transactional day. Companies choose me because they want something different. They want something that's effective and impactful. If you read any of my testimonials or any of my comments, the experience I create for people is life changing. It is mind shifting, heart and mindset blending and balancing and creates a complete transformation of how people show up, how they think, feel and act. Are you going to be my customer service hero? Yes. Well, you do what it takes. Yes. Then stand up and tell me that I'm going to do it. Well, you do what it takes. Yes. Then stand up and tell me. Yes. Well, you do what it takes. For leadership, for sales, for teams, for individuals, for families, this is a mind-shifting, life-changing experience. You need me to be your success activator the next time you have a talk.